passage that we you will generally not read this is not the type of a passage that will you know hold your attention for more than 2 minutes if i have been able to read it only because i wanted to read it otherwise i know for a fact in an exam condition so i am not even seeing this thing okay the first the questions i'll read the first line first para i'll read the last para i will read the the last line of the first line of the last para i'll read and i'll skip this one okay so before we start with the analysis there is a you know word of caution you can say or general in instructions which is watch this video at 1.5x speed 1.75x speed or even 2x speed that will enhance your viewing experience and once you are able to understand the logic then you can possibly pause and jot down information also if you feel like okay now let's begin with the analysis and don't let's read the questions first and then we will jump into the analysis i will try to put the time stamps also if i if possible or otherwise if you guys uh, you know feel it necessary you can do it yourself also all of the following claims can be inferred so we are just reading the questions we are not reading the options or we just reading the questions all of the following claims can be inferred from the passage basically we are talking about the main idea the primary purpose or something of that sort all the paragraphs you have to be able to understand the assumptions the arguments and then possibly you have to come at the main idea or the central idea and then you can answer this question so an inference type question which one of the following statement best reflects the main argument of the fourth paragraph of the although it is an infer type question but since you know they are they have already given you an anchor position at uh, where you can actually go and get the uh, you know make those inferences this is not that difficult so moderately easy one which one of the following statement contradicts the arguments of the passage this is a strength this is a weakening type uh, question type again they are asking about that one particular statement that will weaken the argument of the passage in gen the entire passage so you are supposed to be aware of the entire this thing right let's read the last one which says which one of the following statement could be inferred as supporting so this is the strengthening type uh, this thing strengthening the argument of the passage again the entire passage so in and all it is a critical reasoning you know passage okay so there are effectively four critical reasoning questions instead of one rc so generally see students you know you know in the enthusiasm of solving rcs they'll just solve the rcs without you know seeing left right and center and then they basically throw themselves into a blood bath anyways that's my caution if you would ask me this is going to be in the you know i have a priority order when i select or solve any rc paper for a test particularly obviously this is an analysis does not apply to this but understand we are not doing it for fun purposes we are doing it keeping the mocks in mind we are doing it keeping the actual cat in mind this is an actual last year ka paper so there has to be a priority order that you have to keep in mind otherwise these sets will become very morose you okay one more thing before i jump subscribe karo yaar channel ko subscribe nahi kar rahe ho aap log like karo share karo subscribe karo thoda badhao hamare channel ko bhi what are we looking at critical theory of technology is a political theory of modernity with a normative dimension now we don't know what a normative dimension is but we know that something about the theory of technology is being discussed there is a critical theory of technology which is in fact related to the theory of modernity it belongs to a tradition extending from marx to foucault to habermas according to which advances in the formal claims of human rights okay advances in the formal claim of human right takes the center stage while in the background centralization of ever more powerful public institution and private organization imposes an authoritarian social order all right mota mota what is the argument of the first passage the argument basically tells you that we started with a critical theory of technology which relates to the modernity okay and there is something related to human rights in the center and in the back seat there is some sort of a authoritarian regime that is taking place so these are the points that you should keep in mind or you should jot down in your notepad while you are scribbling things for a notes okay maybe you can do short hands you can use abbreviations whichever suits you marx 
मार्क्स मार्क्स एट्रिब्यूटेड दिस ट्रैजेक्टरी टू द कैपिटलिस्ट रैशनलाइजेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्शन कैपिटलिस्ट रैशनलाइजेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्शन यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज थिंक ऑफ दिस एज अ एंटायर वर्ल्ड ओके बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ प्रोडक्शन वट प्रोडक्शन वी डोंट नो बट दिस ट्रेडिशन यू कैन से दिस ट्रेडिशन मार्क्स हैज एट्रीब्यूटेड टू द कैपिटलिस्ट रैशनलाइजेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ओके मे बी आई शुड स्कीप यूजिंग द पेरेंथिस टूडे इट मार्क्स मेनी इंस्टीट्यूशन बिसाइड्स द फैक्ट्री सो दिस प्रोडक्शन इज नॉट जस्ट लिमिटेड टू फैक्ट्रीज एंड एवरी मॉडर्न पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम इंक्लूडिंग द सो कॉल्ड सोशलिस्ट सिस्टम ओके सो बेसिकली दिस इज मोर लाइक दिस इज मोर लाइक अ आइडियोलॉजी नाउ this trajectory arose from the problems of command over a disempowered and de-skilled labor force but everywhere that in the parenthesis masses are organized whether it be foucault's prison or habermas's public sphere the same pattern prevails now just hold on for a while and ask yourself what is this pattern what is this pattern that is evolving when you know uh, this thing is happening so obviously the pattern that they are talking about obviously has to be that you know central thing that you know human rights are is in the central and you know in the back stage there is the authoritarian regime so obviously what else can be the pattern now let's read ahead technological design technological design and development is shaped by this pattern as a material base of distinctive social order marcus marcus would later point to a project as the axis of what he rather called confusingly the technological rationality okay so talking from you know coming from the capitalist rationalization of production we are talking about technological rationality okay and this is the marcus fellow probably these guys are philosophers marx of course is a philosopher marcus is also a philosopher because but i don't want to digress because you know he was the disciple of heidegger marcus would later point later point to a project as the basis of what he called rather confusingly technological reality rationality releasing technology from this project is a democratic political task okay this is a very you know atypical commentary that is happening you don't really need to understand the commentary as a student uh, who is taking the test you don't even need to read this you can just skip ahead skim ahead rather okay the third para in accordance with the general line of thought critical theory of technology again critical theory of technology regards technology as an environment wow so critical theory of technology now they are giving you concrete ideas that critical theory of technology regard technologies technologies as an environment rather than a collection of tools so this is very important this is giving you out a idea we live today with an even within technologies that determine our way of life along with the constant pressure to build centers of power many other social values and meanings are inscribed in technological design a hermeneutics of technology must make explicit the meanings implicit in the devices we use and ritual the scripts so if you could just pay attention hermeneutics is a very you know this thing a very interesting word it will not be known by the regular janta i'll give you the meaning you can quickly google the meaning also the meaning is some sort of a you can say study of some interpretation that is the googleish meaning but then again we don't really need a hermeneutics of technology must make explicit meaning implicit in the devices we use and the rituals the script you will realize that i did not read line by line word by word i just read it to make things in my head some sort of you know comprehension this is a way of comprehension you will have to do in your own you will have to develop this thing as your own thing okay social histories of technology such as bicycle blah 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 you don't need to read this have made contribution to this type of analysis what type of analysis okay critical theory of technology attempts to build a methodological approach on the lessons of these histories again critical theory of technology this is where critical theory of technology is also written so perhaps we can make use of these lines 
just as our anchor if we need to come to these places okay so critical theory of technology regards technology as an environment critical theory of technology attempts to build a methodological approach on the lessons of these histories okay so histories are also built all right interesting a very morose article if you if you could just understand it's a very abstract article this is not a uh, atypical eon essay or a atypical wall street journal essay this is more like a book this is in fact a book ka excerpt the fourth para as an environment technology shapes their inhabitants wow now they are giving you another important idea initially they talked about how technology as an environment it is you know the theory of critical uh, this thing the critical theory of technology is in fact talking about technology as an environment and now the uh, you know environment is also is talking about how it shapes its inhabitants okay so let's read ahead in this respect they are comparable to laws and customs okay each of these so technologies are comparable to laws and customs technologies are comparable to laws and okay in these in each of these institution can be said to represent those who live under their sway through privileging certain dimension of their human nature okay so if you have understood it is technology that is you know providing some sort of a privilege to the people who are living under the sway of this uh, you know environment hope that makes sense uh, privileging certain dimensions of their human nature laws of property represent the interest of ownership and control customs okay so now they are defining the laws and the customs customs such as parental authority represent the so when we compare the technology to laws and customs so now they are giving examples so laws will be the property one customs such as the parental authority represent the interest of childhood in safety and growth similarly the automobile represent its user in so far as they are interested in mobility interest such as these attribute to the version of human nature sanctioned by the society you will see this is very you know typically philosophical statements that they are using anyways this notion of representation does not imply an eternal human nature okay so probably when they talk about this eternal human nature they are again connecting back to the customs okay of this parental authority thing otherwise what is the need for them to say that you know the notion of this representation representation of what laws and customs that is not to imply an eternal human nature so probably the parental authority over the child you know over the child's will not stay forever something of that sort maybe i can figure out the concept of nature as non ident as non identity in the frankfurt school suggests an alternative okay last one on these terms just to say on these terms nature is what lies at the limit of history nature is what lies at the limit of history at the point at which at which society loses the capacity to imprint its meaning on things and control them effectively wow so imprint its meaning on things and control them effectively the reference here is of course not the nature of natural sciences but to the lived nature in which we find ourselves so this nature is not the nature in general we are talking about some sort of a situation in which we find ourselves and which we are so basically that possibly you know you can say that we are using internet these days so maybe that is also a sort of a technology that we are finding so that is a one aspect of the nature that we are in just you know digressing a little bit this nature reveals itself as that which cannot be totally encom encompassed by the machinery of society totally philosophical bullshit for the frankfurt school human nature in all its transcending transcending force emerges out of historical context as that context is depicted there is a usage of parenthesis depicted in illicit joys struggles and pathologies we can perhaps admit a less romantic and then conception in which those dimension of human nature recognized by the so society are also granted so these conceptions have already been granted theoretical legitimacy okay passage that we you will generally not read 
this is not the type of a passage that will you know hold your attention for more than two minutes if i have been able to read it only because i wanted to read it otherwise i know for a fact in an exam condition so i am not even seeing this thing okay the first the questions i'll read the first line first para i'll read the last para i will read the the last line of the first line of the last para i'll read and i'll skip this one so this is going to be at a very low ranking in the priority order of my rc selections now anyways let's go and read the questions let's see if the questions see understand this for a fact no rcs are going to be difficult if you give them 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes they're not going to be that difficult if you give them enough and more time it is only difficult because there's a timer you know there so that is why i constantly i'm saying that don't pick this type of rcs for your tests or i mean if you are somebody who are who can go through such passages like a piece of cake then you can attempt all of the following claims can be inferred let's read technologies seek to privilege certain dimension of human nature at high cost to lived nature first of all there you know it it is written that technologies privilege certain dimension of human nature but i am very much you know covered concerned with this word high high cost to lived nature let's read the you know line in which it was written okay so here it is each of these institutions so let me use a different color rather each of these institutions can be said to represent those and which institution the environment technology as an environment technology shape their inhabitants so technology now is shaping the inhabitants the ones that are using those technologies each of these institution can be said to represent those who live under their sway through pri privileging certain dimensions of their nature human nature certain dimensions of their human nature at the cost of at a high cost of their lived nature or something of that sort is not given the next line however say that you know there is some sort of a comparability between laws and customs okay it says that laws and customs there is a comparability with the technologies however whether the institutions that privilege the inhabitants do at a do that at a high cost of lived uh, you know what is the exact word lived nature is not in there so bang on this is going to be the answer so this is actually not there in the passage so what am i doing this is bang on this is the answer anyways let's read the other options sort of a cheating you can say the significance of parental authority to children's safety does not therefore imply that parental authority is a permanent aspect of human nature obviously i mean this was written i think i have narrowed it down over here you can see that customs such as parental authority represent the interest of childhood in safety and growth this notion of representation however does not imply an eternal human nature okay so this will be true for the sense in the sense of the law also but i'm just using it in the reference of this particular custom so this is true okay so this can be inferred so if this can be inferred is not going to be the answer goes out analysis of technology must engage with their social histories to be able to reveal their implicit and explicit meanings for us exactly this is also there in the passage let's go this will help us with all our you know make uh, this will help us with this thing okay this line if you pay attention the hermeneutics of technology must make explicit meaning implicit in the devices we use and the rituals they script social histories of technology such as bicycle blah 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 have made important contribution to this type of analysis so when we read this thing and the option is also talking about the analysis of technology must engage with the social histories to be able to reveal their implicit explicit meaning so this was actually given so can be inferred from the passage goes out the critical theory of technology argues that as issues of human right become more prominent we lose the site in which the social order becomes more authoritarian this is if you are not able to eliminate this you have a serious problem because i'll tell you this is the first para itself you know the human rights at the center and the authoritarian regimes at the back seat okay so you should be able to eliminate this one or you should be able to infer this statement 
विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट बेस्ट रिफ्लेक्ट द मेन आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ द फोर्थ पैराग्राफ इन द पैसेज ओके लेट्स रीड द फोर्थ फोर्थ पैरा ओके सो दिस इज द फोर्थ वन As an environment, technologies shape their inhabitant. In this respect, they are comparable to laws and customs. Each of these, so they are comparable to laws and custom. We already understand that. What else? I mean, I'll just read the underlining statements, okay? And the privilege, you know, there's a, you know, privileges. Um, there's a context of privilege also that is given to certain dimension of their inhabitants, or the dimension of the human natures of their inhabitants. And then you know, there's a examples given property and customs and how parental authority represents this thing blah 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 these are all examples so main idea is this only that they are comparable to the laws and customs okay as an environment they shape their inhabitants in this respect they are comparable to laws and customs okay so that is the main idea let's read the options technological environment privileges certain dimension of human nature as effectively as laws and so okay first of all this is given i mean effectively as laws and customs technological environment privileges certain dimension of human nature as effectively as laws and customs so this is true this is not the main argument okay i will tell you why because there is nothing mentioned about the effectiveness of this technological environment in comparison to laws and customs whether laws and customs are less effective and these technologies are more effective nothing of that sort is given so that is why i think i can eliminate this one so this is possibly not the that this rep, this does not reflect the main argument of the paragraph technology law and customs are not unlike oh not unlike each other if consider that as institutions double negative statement so this is as good as saying that technology laws and customs are like each other if considered as institution bang on this is the answer you don't even have to like but eventually you will read technology law and customs are comparable but dissimilar phenomena if they are dissimilar how can you come so they can be comparable but dissimilar at the same time that's true logically understandable but we are talking about the similarity and not the dissimilarity because laws and customs are the same way how you know technology is also in a way shaping or privileging the inhabitants that use that okay so goes out automobile represent the interest of mobility so this is a very this is a part of the argument and this is not the main argument itself okay this is more like an you can say example okay all right so uh, the third one which one of the following statement contradicts the argument of the passage contradicts the argument or you can also use the word weaken if that makes your life easier so one thing you have to understand we are we are looking for one statement that weakens the argument so all the statements should in fact strengthen the argument of the passage so there is no you know hard and fast rule i'll read you know through the options not like you'll have to analyze all the options you'll read one option keep that eliminate that let's understand okay Marx's understanding of the capitalist rationalization of production and Marx's understanding of project of technological rationality share the share theoretical inclination this does not weaken this in fact strengthen so is out because i will take you to the passage i will take you to the passage you can read the passage also on your own Marx's at Marx attributed this trajectory or this tradition to the capitalist rationalization of production, and Marcus would later point to a project as the basis of what he called confusingly the technological rationality, and said that if technology is removed removed from the project, the democrat this will become the project is then a democratic political task. So the you know the technology or rationalization in production through the technology. of both the ideas marx and marcus actually share the same inclination or you can say that same theoretical inclination or in other words they if they are you know if you read the statement this is strengthening the passage 
Okay, let's read the second one. Masses are organized in patterns set by Foucault's prison and Habermas's public sphere. Okay. Okay, oh yeah. Okay, see, I have to understand, you have to understand one thing. We are talking about the Foucault's prison and Habermas's sphere. This was given somewhere, okay. Uh, where is it? Yeah. So, this is where it is. This trajectory, let's read the entire line. This trajectory arose from the problems of command over disempowered and de-skilled de labor force, but everywhere that masses are organized, be it Foucault's prison or Habermas's sphere, the same pattern prevails. Oh, so basically they are talking about wherever these, you know, wherever these um, uh, masses are gathered or organized, the same pattern prevails. What does this mean? The pattern, maybe you can say the pat the same thing that we discussed in the first, uh, you know, through the discussion also. The pattern that human rights is in the center stage and authoritarian regime in the back seat. In the guise of, a, you know, something, a socialist regime also, they can do this thing. Okay. So, I hope you've been able to understand the state, the question, the answer choice, the answer option, however, is talking something which is entirely different. The answer choice is talking masses are organized in patterns set by Foucault's prison and Habermas's public sphere. So, this is not that is given in the passage. So, if this were true, this will weaken the argument of the passage. So, bang on, this is the answer. Let's read it ahead. Let's read the other options ahead. Paradoxically, the capitalist rationalization of production is a mark of so-called socialist system. So, this is, I think, given in the uh, passage that the rationalization, the capitalist rationalization of production is a mark of the so-called socialist system as well this will this is given in the so if you go back to verify the legitimacy of this statement you will get this okay the capitalist rationalization of production to date marks many institutions besides the factory and every modern political system including the so-called socialist system so this is totally you know with the passage so this is you know in other words does not weaken is for the passage strengthens the passage goes out the problems of command over a disempowered and de-skilled labor force gave rise to similar patterns of capitalist rationalization of production wherever masses are organized the problem of command over disempowered and de-skilled labor force gave rise to similar pattern of the capitalist rationalization of production wherever masses were organized yeah so the same thing right the Foucault's prison the Habermas is this thing the similar pattern evolved yeah so this is also in line with the passage argument goes out actually if you see this is this was a easy uh, you know thing because we got the second option very easily yeah let's go to the last one which one of the following statement could be inferred as supporting the arguments of the passage? One of the following statement could be inferred as supporting. So, in other word, you can also say strengthen. Okay. All the options, the three options is going to be weakening the argument type. One of the option is going to be strengthen the argument type. Okay. So, I don't think it will be very difficult because we've done an in-depth analysis of this passage. Now, let's read ahead. The romantic conception of nature referred to by the passage is one that requires theoretical legitimacy. The conception of nature referred to by the passage is the one, it requires theoretical legitimacy. conception in which those dimension of human nature recognized by the society are also granted theoretical legitimacy so they are granted so it's not like they require this thing okay so a totally opposite thing a totally so they are already granted theoretical legitimacy why is it why is this option saying that they require is the one that requires theoretical legitimacy so for the time being i'll probably keep this one i'll read the next one technologies form the environmental context and shape the contours of human society nature decides the point at which society loses its capacity to control history okay the nonsensical goes out i am happy at least one of the options i'm able to eliminate it is not human nature but human culture that is represented by institutions such as laws and custom see totally different thing they are talking about the you know 
the privilege of the environment the technological environment that gets offered to its inhabitants because of their human nature it's nowhere the culture is given as a word so that always goes out now between one and two let's be very you know let's keep a you know back of the mind let's keep this thing in clear that this is about the critical theory of technologies so the with one statement that will be inferred as supporting the argument cannot be the romantic conception of nature that is the last line of the passage this has to be the answer bang on i'll i'll give an explanation also this also says that technologies form the environmental context this is something that is given in the fourth uh, para it shapes the contour of the human society exactly the critical theory of technology marx foucault habermas everybody is talking about that right the romantic conception of this thing that requires the that requires theoretical legitimacy legitimacy is already get, you know granted the those theoretical legitimacies that is provided in the passage that why that way this is eliminated interesting passage a good one uh definitely a difficult passage for somebody who is you know attempting cat uh with a mindset that they want to do some you know get some good marks so yeah with that being said i'll take your leave for a lamba one gear but i hope you guys enjoyed it bye